In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a looping animation like this. Where you have this just continuously looping as long as your footage is going. And show you how to do that in Resolve 16 using the Fusion tab. So switch to a new timeline here, create new timeline, now your footage. Then you switch to the Fusion tab. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit here to give me some room. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create the lower third that I'm gonna put the animation on. So we need a background, text node, which I'll combine with that. After that, we're going to need a transform, so I'll connect that up. Move it off to the side for now. Type in some text. Put that in. We'll put the transform in a second. And then we're going to basically put a mask, use a rectangular mask, to create the background of the lower third. And we'll adjust the size here left-clicking and adjust the height. Okay, once we get that about right, we want, we can use a transform to shrink the size of it a little bit and then reposition it to the bottom left corner. And we'll get it right to the edge. So now we have our lower third set up here. So what we're gonna wanna do is gonna create that effect that goes around the edge of the background here, the rectangle. So we'll select these two nodes, drag them over, get some more room, and then to the background, make sure that's selected, and hit a paint node, because we're going to be drawing the line that's going to be going around the outside. Hit the one key to put the paint in the left viewer here. So we're going to choose polyline stroke, which allows us to just click points in the corners to draw the shape. We'll come over here to the inspector and click on modifiers so we can have control of the stroke we're about to uh, draw. Then we can take the softness down a bit, take the size down a bit. Kind of choose the color we want. So I'm going to kind of go for, again here, kind of fluorescent green. And then you just start clicking points. So I'm going to go up the left corner, left click. I'll do the first point and then click in each of the corners. And that'll draw our rectangle around our line. And that finishes it off. Now to do the animation, what we're gonna do is come down to stroke controls and we're gonna use the right on uh, beginning and end here. So if I bring this down, you can see that allows you to draw a line on, animate the line on and off. So what we'll do is just create a little line segment and then if we move the entire thing, left click in the middle and move the entire thing, that, that animates a line around the rectangle and then goes back to the beginning. So we'll be animating that. So we make sure at the beginning we're at zero here. You can see, and we'll hit the keyframe. So we'll start there and we'll bring it forward about, about 30, about 29 frames or so, 29, 30 frames. So it's right about one second. This timeline's at 30 frames per second. So then we'll take this right on. Again, click on the right in between the two uh, endpoints here. Left click, hold down, and we'll drag that to the end. And that created a key keyframe there. So now if I back it up, go to the beginning, and play it through, you see that the line animates. Now it just goes around once. So now we're gonna do the, uh, enable the looping of it. And we're gonna do that by using the spline editor here. So you make sure that paint's selected. Got to left click here in the middle and open up a little more room. Make sure that we have show only selected tool. Make sure click in the left click and the start and the end. And hit this button here, which will basically zoom to fit. So that gives us our keyframes and there's our curves. So just make sure you click in the box, hold down control A, now select all of our points, and then we have some different options down here in the bottom. Now what we're going to do is set up a loop. So right here, this middle one here, says set loop. So you click on that, 
and that creates a loop of the animation we just did and it'll continue on and keep on going as long as the footage is going. So now we can close the spline, come back to the beginning, and you see now that the animation is looping. Now you could tweak it and get it to act exactly the way you want from within the spline. Stop it, go back to the beginning, and tweak these endpoints to have them if you drag this over that'll kind of smooth out the ending there, do the same with this one. And you just tweak the curves until it animates the way you want. And again, it'll keep on repeating that. So if I go back to the beginning and play, that changed the animation up a little bit. So you just keep on playing with that until you get, get the look you like. And you can close down that spline. And go back to the beginning. And then I'm going to make this the lower third. So I'm going to come to the transform. I'm going to animate the center of that to have it come in to frame and then go out of frame. So we'll have it start off out of frame here. Then we'll have it go about 30 frames and then come back into frame. And this whole time the animation will be going. Then we can let it go along for a while, let it loop a few times. And then we can set another keyframe for the center, go forward a few frames, and have it animate off screen again. So now we'll come back up here, set this to fit, go back to the beginning, and play through. Now you can see the animation continues to loop, and then goes back off again. Play that through again here. So you do that with any kind of uh, animation that you want to loop, just using the spline editor here and using the loop function down the bottom here. And there's other ones you can play around with here. There's a ping, one, one called ping pong, set ping pong, and set relative, and, and various different ones you can play around with and get the look you want. Okay, that's a quick way you could do a looping animation using the Fusion tab and Resolve 16 also will work in Resolve 15. So hopefully you found that useful and I thank you for watching.